The youth make up a large portion of the voting population, but many of them remain undecided on who the best presidential bet is. Jackie Pascual found this report. Social media plays a big role for the youth this election season. For many young voters, Facebook and Twitter posts are their sources of information. Puro posts nung friends ko kung sino yung boto nila. Ang title nun, mga kunwari pro talaga dun sa candidate. So parang propaganda nila yun. So hindi ko, hindi ko rin binubuksan yung mga. Sure. Hindi ko kasi type yung lumalabas sa feeds ko in relation na din dun sa uh, politics. Parang nat natotoxic kasi ako eh. Despite the deluge of updates and information online, many young voters okay, remain okay. undecided. 21-year-old Michelle May Bermoy just graduated as one of the top in her class in Bohol. She left her province believing there are better opportunities in Manila. While there are more chances for employment, there are glaring problems like poverty and crime. Pagdating ko talaga dito sa Manila, yung napansin ko maraming pulubi. Nasasakay ka lang ng bus tapos merong akit na manghihingi ng pera. Mamaya maya iyak ako sabi ko eh, sino ba yung dapat tumulong sa kanila? With the many things that need fixing, Michelle sometimes feels her vote won't change anything. Hindi naman siguro makapekto pag yung isang vote. Tapos parang nainis pa ako nun kasi minsan palagi na lang yung parang yung nananalo, eh wala namang nangyayari. So para saan pa yung vote namin? Still, Michelle is optimistic. With just a few weeks left before the elections, Michelle says she's more discerning. Tinitingnan ko yung mga issue, yung mga platforma, yung sa mga debate. Pag may bagong issue, nagiingay, maingay talaga. So nasa sali rin kami. Michelle plans to take a licensure exam for her career. And she's hoping that whoever wins on May 9th, the next president will open more doors for graduates like her. Jackie Pascual, ABS-CBN News.